Welcome back. The Office of Gauteng Cooperative Governance, MEC, Lebohang Maile, has hailed his visit to the embattled Mfuleni municipality as a success. However, in the statement, the MEC admits that the Mfuleni was a catastrophic, a challenge that is, saying that all who needed to take responsibility must do so. Maile, however, says that they don't have the luxury of pointing fingers and that the priority remains improving the lives of residents. The municipality, of course, owes millions in water and electricity bills and is currently under administration. For months, residents have suffered through power and water cuts to raw sewage in the streets and sometimes in their homes. Many say they wonder how many more empty promises that they'll actually have to listen to until they receive basic services. I'm now joined by the MEC, Lebohang Maile. MEC, thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it. You know, I was very surprised when I saw the headline to uh, this press statement that we got last night saying that the visit to Mfuleni was a huge success. Despite that, you know, you have residents who are hopping mad, who are saying that they've had enough of this waiting game. Afternoon and thanks for having us. Um, the, the visit uh, had a particular objective uh, and those objectives were met. And one of the objectives was to uh, extend uh, an invitation to other uh, municipalities, especially big municipalities and uh, other government agencies to help us um, deal speedily and decisively with some of the challenges uh, that are in the municipality. And the second one was to uh, receive a report from our intervention team in terms of the work that has been done. And you will appreciate that the work that must be done uh, is both internal and external. There's issues that have to do with the institution itself and fully the municipality. And there is some uh, progress that has been made there. There are external issues which have to do with service delivery. In terms of that, uh, there is a mixed um, uh, success uh, and failures. Uh, you, we have uh, reported, I think, uh, last month already, that the provincial government, and this is not what we're saying we are going to do, this is what we are doing now. Uh, we are rehabilitating uh, roads uh, to the value of about 173 million, which is money that came from the province. You will know that the Deputy President, the Minister of Water and Sanitation, Premier, uh, would have been in that area. Mm. And certain commitments were made about uh, uh, dealing with the uh, sewer issues and uh, uh, matters related to the Val River. So we are not saying what is it that they might do, but already uh, about a billion rent has been budgeted and it's available from water and sanitation uh, national. But you'll also know that the minister has... Uh, invoked, uh, I think, Section 63 of the uh, Water Act, and uh, rainwater has been appointed on behalf of uh, government uh, nationally to intervene and take over certain functions. So there's a lot of work that is happening, and at the same time, there's uh, still more work to be done. Uh, I think next week we will be delivering uh, a waste management fleet that we are donating as the provincial government to the value of uh, 53 million. So in no way are we saying there are no challenges uh, or problems. Uh, if there were no challenges or problems, we would not have um, asked for help from the bigger municipalities and other challenges. So we were the first to admit that uh, there's a problem, hence uh, the intervention, and uh, we are stepping it up, and that's why we were there last week and even uh, yesterday. So that's the thing, MEC. We saw the deputy president go there a year after visiting regarding the sewage problem, but there was still a sewage problem. We see you constantly, obviously, going there as well because it's under administration. It's taking a long time because it was placed under administration in 2018, so we're talking almost three years now, and we're still talking about small progress being made. Why? What's no, no, taking no. so long? No, no, no. Hang on, hang on. The first thing, let's clarify, they are not under administration. 
meaning that uh, there's still council, there's still a mayor, blah, blah, blah. But there is an intervention and there are certain uh, responsibilities that has been uh, assumed by the provincial government. So I think that distinction becomes very important. So if you look at the uh, functions that we've uh, taken over, it's three. It's, it's finance, it's um, uh, supply chain, it's, um, it's infrastructure. And uh, I was talking about what we are already doing in terms of infrastructure. Uh, we investing money there. We're not just talking a theory. That's the first thing, both provincial and national government. In terms of finance management, we are now able to pay for um, uh, 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 our, our, our debts to ESCOM and, and, and Rendwater. And we are not just owing. We are also being owed 10 billion rents. In terms of uh, supply chain uh, management issues, we have already brought other... Uh, agencies and municipalities. So you can't just say it's small progress without looking into detail and understanding firstly what is the intervention about. And if you look at the caliber of the team we've put there, uh, Mr. Gilberto Martins, I mean, he has been he's a former, uh, I think, COO of a, a national road uh, traffic management agency. You've got Ms. Rianda Kruger, who used to work for the AG, who's a CA. You've got Mr. Lisedi Mirede, who used to be a CFO uh, in the National Department of Sports uh, and uh, administrator in one municipality, Northwest. You look at Mr. Silas Zimu, who was a CEO of City Power. So we brought a lot of skill, a lot of experience, mm -hmm. and that is why there is a movement there. Yes, um, but MEC... But we are not going to... A rest on, on our laurels and uh, a, a praise ourselves uh, about the fact that there is some movement because the fact of the matter and this is a fact, we are not going to deny it, mm. uh, there are still a lot of problems people are still uh, experiencing service delivery related matters and that is why we are beefing up our efforts and not just bringing uh, expertise, skills, uh, human resource. We also bring in financial resources, and that is important. And and, and maybe uh, we need to appreciate the fact that these problems did not start uh, in 2018. They started many, many, many uh, years ago, and they've been accumulating uh, over a period of time. All right. Unfortunately, I have to leave it right there. I've run out of time, but I have so many questions for you. Um, maybe you can come into studio one day and we can talk this out a bit more. Uh, Gauteng Co Corporate Governance MEC, Lebo Khang, Maelia.